Hey, folks, welcome back to Chris White Reports. This is Chris in central Pennsylvania, and I have a special guest, someone that's become, I don't know, part of the program here, someone uh, he and his party we've been looking out for since the November elections in South Africa. And today's a magical day. Today is the 25th of April 2022, but it's a long way down the road. We're talking about something that occurred six months ago. What am I talking about? Some of you may remember my guest who's sitting right there. It's uh, Tabiso Morabandwe from, um, well, from the Zeros area. That's the, and I'll, it's difficult for me. I mean, my, my Setswana is, is good, but not great, but Ramotsera Mola local municipality, which includes Zerus and Hrut Mariko and goes right up there with Madikwe. Basically, it's the Zerus metropolitan area. And my guest, uh, Tabiso, his party, the Forum for Democrats, actually won a seat in proportional representation in the November municipal elections. But there was an administrative error, we'll call it that. And um, someone pointed that out to them. And the Independent Electoral Commission ignored that analyst. And then the party contacted them. Then they ignored the party. I became aware of the problem, and I said, this isn't right. The will of the people has been thwarted. So I reached out to a friend who's an attorney in South Africa. That attorney reached out to a civil rights group, and uh, I hosted a meeting with Tabiso and the attorneys and the civil rights group, the Freedom Advocacy Network. And they said, I'd like to take on this as a test case because they agree the will of the voters have been uh, denied. And guess what? Uh, in December 17th, as if I recall correctly, Tabiso, that's the day that the Independent Electoral Commission admitted that there was an error. And in fact, your yes. party was the rightful winner of that seat and that you were entitled to sit in that seat. But 17 December is a long time ago, five months to be exact. Eventually, this yes. went to a court case. So uh, without any further fanfare, let me just say congratulations to Tabiso. You will be sworn in today, your first time ever in an elected position for a new party that represents people there in Northwest province. Uh, how are you feeling? It took a long time to get here, but we're here. It's today. Yes, indeed. It took a very long time, something that seems highly impossible that it could be achieved, but because of people who are there like you, who assisted along the way, uh, the IEC managed to listen to us uh, and it would never have been that possible to take on uh, the EFF. It would have been a mammoth task, but you know, it, it was that easy because of the support that we got. And what, what, what we, we really appreciate is that uh, the electorate said, look, Forum for Democrats is for us. And you ensured that indeed what they said happens it translates into a seat. And we are really happy because at the end, like you said, uh, what we worked hard for, what every morning we went out to the people, we talked with the people, we mobilized the people, we talked to communities, we talked to several groups of people. And at the end of the day, uh, they voted for Forum for Democrats. That did not reflect at that particular time and moment. And it brought to our attention we got the assistant and yes, we have a seat finally. And it, it, it's so unnecessarily that at the end of the day, we did have to go to court. Not because now of the IEC, now because of the municipality of Ramotseri Muilo, seems unwilling to comply with what the IEC had said to say, look, we have corrected the election and we have the correct result. And what the IEC did, you know, they sent the correct result uh, to the municipal manager to say, these are the correct result. These are the councillors of Ramutserimu, a local municipality. And even at that point, the municipality was not really something that was very surprising to the end that we have to go to court. And what, what, what we appreciated is that again, uh, our judiciary made it clear that look, of all reasons that are given, uh, this matter is very urgent. And the agency is that, the unlawful person is seated in that municipal council. Someone who's not supposed to be making decision is seated there making decision. And because of that, uh, uh, this matter is agent and the order, uh, uh, the court made an order last month that uh, this seat is for Forum for Democrats. And forthwith, uh, everything must be taken to ensure that the court order it's, it's, it's being implemented. And finally, 
uh, the municipality budged in. They wrote a letter to say the swearing ceremony, it will be tomorrow. And we highly appreciate that. And we, 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 we are really, really happy that finally, after six months, after a long period of writing letters, lawyers writing letters, finally, uh, 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 we have our seat. And we appreciate that really. No, it's absolutely crazy uh, what's happened here. I said today, but it's actually tomorrow. The 26th of April is when you're sworn in, correct? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, I've got my days. I'm so excited. I got my days confused here. <laughs> but uh, I mean, listen, this is kind of it's not a trivial matter. I mean, if we look at this objectively, a party has had a member sitting on the municipal council for six months. Yes. That's one tenth of the time that you were elected to serve. So that's that's not insignificant. I mean, that time doesn't come back. And whatever decisions have been reached during those six months that someone that should yes. have been on the council was there. This is a bit disturbing. The IEC, as you pointed out, did act. They did act within a month, December 17th. At, well, now, to be fair, they initially ignored you and your party. Until yes, until yes. we got uh, Freedom Advocacy Network involved. and lawyers involved, and then suddenly they were listening. <laughs> uh, they could hear finally at, when he got lawyers involved. But but it but after a month they did resolve this, and this should you should have been sworn in before New Year's. To be honest, I mean it should have taken this long. And as you said, yes. it seems as if the municipality has been the the organization responsible for this. Now, what I found interesting in what happened, if I recall correctly, is that. When they identified this, the Independent Electoral Commission said, well, we have to notify the party, the other party that's involved, that was erroneously given a seat. That's the EFF, the Economic Freedom Fighters. And they had 48 hours respond. They did not respond. So when your, yes, when your party and, the, and the, the, the Freedom Advocacy Network went to court and asked for an urgent appeal, the EFF actually responded and said, this isn't urgent. They ignored this. Look how long it's taken. Well, it took so long because because the city, not because of you, <laughs> you respond immediately. So the EFF had no basis for saying that you weren't prompt in your response. It was actually the city that wasn't prompt. Isn't that the case? Yes, that, that, that's, that's the case. That, like you said, you know, the IEC at first ignored us, you know, and that makes the question why. Because only when the legal representation got involved, now they responded. It means if the legal... Uh, uh, representatives were not involved, you had, would have been screwed. Sorry for using that word. But Sorry. you know, like you said, the, 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 the EFF uh, opposed the matter. But, you know, what I like is that uh, when we went there on the 10th of, uh, of March, uh, the matter was heard by the judge president. Yes, he was not satisfied with how uh, the service was done because it was not done uh, through the sheriff at that point. But you know, what I like is that he put it frankly, that this matter is not, uh, the merits are not in, in dispute in this matter. This case is straightforward. That is what he put for. And you know, when Judge Hendricks had the matter, he put it clearly that uh, the averments the put forth by the EFF has nothing to do with the matter that is in hand. It, it's a matter that they could have dealt with uh, at the review matter if they were not happy with the issue then when the IEC informed them. And he pointed it clearly that uh, they did not at that particular time respond to the matter. Then he said, look, in this case, the IEC has identified who is a counselor. And until that matter is reviewed and set aside, the decision stands. And he put it that I reiterate that in this instance, Tabizo Morebanto is a councillor for Ramutsiri Muilua local municipality. It stands as such. Uh, uh, they raise issues, you know. Well, you know, I, I, I think, I don't know what happens to them. Maybe they were not correctly advised, the leaders of the EFA. Because in, in their responding matter, one of the issues they said, no, no, at that particular time, when a forum for Democrats wrote to IEC, they did not write to us. We bring forth the, the, the proof, the annexure, that no, we wrote to you, both the general secretary nationally and the provincial secretary. Here is the proof. We wrote, we informed you. And we wrote to the IEC and we attached that letter to the IEC. And the IEC wrote to you, you did not respond. And only at the point when they realized that the matter is moving, now they wanted to be part. And you know, somehow they even managed to write a letter to the municipal manager saying, no, no, the IEC say uh, it's putting 
this matter in abeyance on the 25th of February. At that particular time, the exact date, that was the date that the IEC wrote to the municipal manager to say, we have amended the result. Yeah, the correct result. So in a way, the, the, the EFF, they wanted to use tactics that are, do not apply to say, no, 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 we want. And you know, certainly they even request the court to say, no, 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 we request that even though if you could come to the judgment, the order that uh, Forum for Democrats uh, can have the seat, but we want you to maintain our status in cancer. <laughs> How possible could that be? That, 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 that is the request. You know, how silly is that? that sorry. No, no, you can, I'm sorry. Order, it's just, you it's... can order that they can have a seat. We, we agree with you. If you came to that order, but what we ask you is that maintain uh, 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 our seat, our status in cancer. And, and the court did not agree with that. Of that course until, not. Until you, if you are dissatisfied, until you, 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 you review the matter, this decision stands as it is. The IEC has identified who, and, and, and one of the reasons, like we, we, we have given the reason that no, you know, when, when we, we came to court, it's because we have to raise funds, we have to do that. But the court said, look, the, 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 the matter that an unlawful person is seated, it outweighs all reasons given, even financial reasons. And, and to that an extent, the court said, no, this matter, its agency, its extent, its stand, as long as someone who's unlawful is seated in that council, the agency is extend. And, and for that reason, uh, uh, the matter was set in agency and, 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 and the court order, uh, the court made an order. And, and, and today, uh, that order is it, 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 being complied with. And, and I even wrote a letter, personally, a letter to the municipal manager to say to him, look, I, I don't understand. Your, our lawyers wrote a letter to you or on the 23rd of February saying the IEC has amended the elections. You wrote on the 25th of, actually, it's, a, it's April, it's March. No, it's 25th of, of February. Yes, it's the 23rd of February. It's the 23rd of February. Yes, it's correct. It's the correct date. It's the 23rd of February. When our lawyers wrote to, to, to the municipal manager say, uh, look, the, 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 the IEC has amended the result. As thus, we request you that uh, the councillor for Forum for Democrats must be swayed in. And you know, the municipal manager responded by saying, no, no, no. Uh, the IEC wrote a letter to us on the 14th of December saying they will amend. They haven't informed us of such. What our lawyers did, they took that letter, they wrote to the IEC that respond to them. You know, agently, the IEC responded to say, we have amended. That being done, they kept quiet. They did yeah. nothing. They just kept quiet until it came to a point to say, no, these people are playing, we have to go to court. And even the court said, uh, look, it was very clear, in absence of the court order, the municipal manager and the speaker would have not acted. In that instant, uh, 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 this is the address that the, 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 the Forum for Democrats really required. And a court order was made. Now they are complying with that court order. Tomorrow it will be, I will be sworn in as a councillor for Forum for Democrats. Finally, six months later, what this tells me is a number of things. Number one, the Independent Electoral Commission will ignore small parties and independent candidates because they're not big, yes. influential, and don't have powerful right. attorneys and the press behind them. So unless your name is the ANC, the DA, yeah. or the EFF, you're not going to get much traction. Maybe the IFP, but not somebody like the Four for Democrats or independent candidate to be so if you ran on your own. You're kind of stuck out there. So your only options are to tell your story to the media and hopefully they'll listen so that people know what's going on so that change can happen. So that's number one. Number two, from my perspective, is that the EFF doesn't care about democracy and about representative yes. government. They care about positions and power because it's pretty clear that there was an error. We're not claiming there's malfeasance yes. here. There was the look, look, chalk it up to an administrative error. Someone saw 19 <laughs> and wrote 197 or something like that. And that resulted yes. in you not getting a seat, which your party actually won. It's an error. We'll, we'll say it's an error, but the EFF recognized that error, but they still want to retain a seat that they have not legitimately won, yes. which tells me that they don't care about elections and democracy they just care about raw naked power and that's disturbing so 
here's the thing, Tubby. So let me ask you this question. You are going to be sworn in tomorrow and you'll be a local counselor. And so the next time we talk to you, we'll call you local counselor, Tubby Somorapantla. And we'll be looking forward yes. to that. <laughs> Look at that very happy smile on his face. <laughs> After six months of this effort and all the time and effort you all put in, um, I'm going to ask the question a second, but I, I need to add one more thing I should add. Here's another piece that people need to realize. A lot of time has gone in from a very small party with very limited resources, including legal action. Mm -hmm. And at the court case, the judge said that all parties must pay their own cost. Even though you've you, you've wanted judgment, you had to pay some legal costs, which is very unfortunate. Yes. I think people need to be aware of that. So yes. um, that's important. I don't know if, 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 if Forum for Democrats has some sort of a fundraiser. If you do, send me a note and I'll make that link available. If people want to contribute to help support your legal efforts. But that's a separate thing. So now let me ask you the question. Are you excited? You're going to be sworn in tomorrow and you're going to join this democracy as a young South African, uh, relatively young. You're a little younger than me. So we'll say young. You're, you're going to join this democracy as an elected representative of the people. Are you excited? Yes. You know, I, I'm highly excited, very much so excited. You know, and the excitement, again, it's based on that. It, it, would, it would not have been possible. Uh, the, the odds were against Forum for Democrats, even if we couldn't have, have the assistance and the support that we had. Based on that, that, that made me to be very jubilant and, and happy. And that uh, those electorates who voted for Forum for Democrats, they, they will see their votes being translated into something that is touchable, something that they can see. And, and I think that will give them hope that uh, what we wanted to stand for and what we, we put forth to our people as an organization, now we'll be able to say, here we are, we are moving forth from here and this is where we want to go. And, and for that, I'm very, very excited. And, and, and what makes me excited is that uh, with the support that we got, it entrenched, it entrenched uh, uh, the democracy that people must stand for. And that we should also be able to stand for bullies, organizations that think that, uh, you know, the platform is theirs. Uh, you, let me tell you, you know, you won't believe me. In one of their responses, the EFF says, you know, if this matter is not well handled, it will cause community riots. Who in their right minds, when there is an election error, and that error is being corrected. Now they bring forth a threat that if you go this route, you are doing these things like this, you, you will cause the community riots. And now, now we, we said, and, and, and you won't believe me. Even in, in Facebook, there were people who were saying, no, 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 no. You know, uh, people for Forum for Democrats and Tabiso Morebantua, they have to leave that issue. People will kill them. And we said, we cannot allow that. We, we cannot allow that we are being threatened and because we are being threatened, we are saying, no, 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 we won't pursue this man. We said we will pursue it. We will pursue it until to finality. And we will not allow to be threatened by anyone. Because if we allow that, that is how a democracy fails. Because some people will believe and think that they are entitled to these things. Everything that belongs to other organizations, they are entitled to it. They, the space belongs to, to, to them. They are the only one who should, should, should be on the ground. And we said, no, 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 we are not going to allow that. We are going to pursue this matter. And, and for that, you know, I, I, I'm very excited and I'm very happy uh, really uh, uh, for this. And, and we are going to implement uh, the, the, the intentions of our organization. And, and we are going to, 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 to do it uh, with our heart and clear heart. And we are going to ensure that what we have been standing for, that we instill public confidence in governance. That is what we will stand for. That is what we will preach. And we will make sure that in matters where there could be matters of corruption and what, our name and the name of our organization will not be mentioned because that it will be a betrayal not only to the people who have voted, but to the people who supported us, to you and uh, a, a fan. It will be a betrayer and we will not allow that to happen. We will make sure that in all matters, uh, we act clear, uh, we make sure that we stand for the interest of our people. That is what we are going to do. And for that, I, I want to be honest with you, I, I'm really excited. 
I'm happy. Uh, you know, I, I really, I'm happy and I'm, I'm excited because it would have been an, an impossible and mammoth task for Forum for Democrats individually to take them on. But with the assistance that we got, we take it. And, 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 and we are really, really happy uh, for the assistance that we got. And we really, really appreciate that. And uh, we, we are really happy. Happy, happy. There's a few and things I'm, like I'm excited. excited. Two things, like a couple things, I like to unpack there. First off, I like to say, uh, when News Twenty Four and the Daily Maverick finally wake up to this exciting story and come knocking on your door, don't forget us, little people. We were here first. <laughs> That's the first thing. <laughs> but the second thing is that um, it's a it's a part of the story we've never told before, but people need to know it. There was an active effort to intimidate your party and you personally about pursuing a matter that shouldn't even be an issue. This is simply a clerical error that someone made. And that's really sad and dangerous and speaks volumes about the sense of entitlement that political parties that are out there have thinking they own the system. And my statement on this is that the seat that you're gonna occupy does not belong to you. The seats that the ANC, the Freedom Front Plus, the DA, the EFF occupy in that municipality do not belong to them. Those seats belong to the residents of that municipality and the citizens of South Africa, and you're there to represent them, not represent your party or represent personal interest. And I think it sounds like you understand that, and that's something you're gonna take forward. Now, if I can offer a piece of advice, okay? <laughs> Here's a piece of advice. Yes, for you. yes, sir. All right. I hope that's not the Rona. I hear a cough. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yeah. not. It's okay. not. It's not. Okay. All right. <laughs> piece of advice. Now, an old soldier here as a leader, and, and let me tell you why I got involved in this. It's certainly not because I have an audience of 10 million. It's certainly not for ego. It's certainly not for that. It was because I saw a wrong. And as someone that cares about the value of democracy and spent 36 and a half years in uniform supporting and defending our constitution and protecting the rights of people around the world, it is important to me. And I got involved as a leader to help facilitate this thing, get it moving, because leaders recognize when something wrong has happened. They see when people are suffering and when the wrong outcome has been achieved. And they find the way to show that they care and direct people in the right direction so that the right outcome mm -hmm. comes about. So what I'm gonna to suggest to you and the advice I'm gonna to offer to you is that, and it sounds like you've already taken this to heart, do not take granted for a moment the fact that the people selected your party and you've been appointed to this position, especially in light of the fact that 10% of the time you're supposed to be sitting in office, you've lost now. So each and every day in the next four and a half years, represent the residents of that municipality with all your heart and do the right thing each and every time and make sure that your party is seen. Make sure that you're out in in Zerust, in Hrut Mariko, in Madikwe, wherever you have to be, so that people know that you're representing their needs out there and make sure they hear about it. And also, we're going to come back to you for periodic interviews just to see what's going on in the council. And I hope <laughs> yeah. I hope that, that this is some advice you can take to heart. It sounds like you've already taken to heart before I've even offered it, but it's, it's a little piece of advice I can offer to you because it's something you can't take for granted. You've got to take it very much to heart and understand that you're there to serve the people. And it sounds to me as if you understand that's your role. No, I, I will take that advice fully to 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 heart, and I, I would like to thank you, uh, thank Freedom Advocacy Network for for the role that you have played. Without the role that you have played, it would have been impossible for us to achieve this today, and and we will always remember that. And even our members uh, will always remember that that when it was impossible, someone stood for us, and based on that we have to show gratitude and that gratitude has to be shown in action. And, and I promise you that that advice will be implemented. We will remember that this seat does not belong to me. It does not belong to Forum for Democrats. It belonged to the resident of Ramutserimul. And resident of Ramutserimul had to see Forum for Democrats representing it, representing them. They have to cl see clearly that they are being represented in that council. And, and we'll make it a point that we go out there, they got informed of what is happening in that council. They got to get an update, community meetings, where they are informed of every decisions that are made. And like you are saying, we will go out there to ensure that we, we grow this organization. It, it, it becomes an organization that will represent people on, an, on a larger scale. And I want to promise you that, again, we will not be intimidated. 
by no one. And we will not allow and tolerate any intimidation of any sort from any person. We will stand and stood for what we believe for. And at no point, at no point we will be coerced uh, into cowardice or will be coerced into hiding. We will not do that. We will stand and forum for Democrats because you will remember that when it was impossible for anything to happen, even for IEC to hear us, there were people who stood for us. There were people who came to us and said, we will help you and you got help. And for them, we will always and forever be grat have gratitude. And you know, we, we are humbled by your assistant. We are humbled by the assistant that we receive from a forum advocacy network. And for that, for that we are happy and for that we are thankful and we will forever ever be thankful for that. That's awesome. You know, it's it's after one in the morning here, approaching two. It's early morning for you. But because of my work schedule right now, we weren't able to do this at a reasonable hour today for me. So I've kind of been reticent. I should have opened up <laughs> this interview with the following. Dumelera, what's the hilijang, eh? <laughs> I should have done that. So my 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 apologies for not greeting you properly when we started the interview. But Tabiso uh, Morat Bantwa, um, uh, many many thanks. Kealabo, uh, bye bye Nanki. Thank you so much. We'll get back in touch with you tomorrow, the twenty sixth of April. Finally, six months after the election, and democracy thwarted. Democracy is finally coming to justice in the Northwest province. And congratulations to you and to your party. Um, please, once again, get videos so you guys can send them to me so we can do, get, a, uh, get this swearing in ceremony covered because we can't be there. And we're going to make sure also, I promise you that I'll be writing an article about this republication on Morning Shot, a South African site, so that people become aware of this story. But um, thank you so much. And we're grateful that um, you're such straightforward folks and and you gave us your time. We're able to, um, to get the right people in the right place to make things happen. So so um, next time we talk, it'll be local counselor, uh, Tabiso Morat Bantua. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, folks, thanks a lot for listening and tuning in. We appreciate your support for this channel. And for those of you who are concerned about the viability of South Africa's democracy, you know, a few years ago, I did a presentation as part of the Great Decisions Brief, and it's called South Africa's Fragile Democracy. At the time, I was um, a little more skeptical than I am today. Uh, and I tell you that uh, I have become more skeptical about South Africa's democracy, but when I see things work out in the right fashion like they have here, I have hope for the future. And when the courts make the right decision, which they did, I have faith. But anyway, folks, thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll catch you here next time on Chris White Reports on the Indaba Africa channel. Take care.